Hold on. If I'm gonna deal with any more Odin and Thor bullshit, I'm gonna need some. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back into the channel for another episode of God of War Ragnarok and oh boy, are things getting spicy. Not only did we have a not so nice visitation from Odin and Thor, we also had a beefy battle with Thor as well and he kept referencing how he wanted to see the real us. And so I can't foot stomp enough how happy I am that I got to play through some of the original God of Wars because now I do know what they're referring to. I think that you can miss out on some things. I'm even missing out on small, subtle nodes back to 2018, such as uh, we also saw that Atreus turned into a bear. So he can now transform into what we are assuming are, well, I'm assuming multiple animals. I know as of right now, we've just seen him transform into a bear, but I actually think he's gonna have the ability to maybe morph into more than just that. Uh, I don't know the bounds with that. I know that I saw you guys comment on that. And so I just wanna like let you guys know that I'm going to be a little cautious and tiptoe with the comments because I do, as much as I like getting this extra insight, sometimes there are some spoilers and I've gone so long without any spoilers. So I'm gonna try to stick with that, but I do love the feedback that you guys are giving. And so whenever I'm done with the series, I can't wait to go back through and see all of the incredible information that you guys are offering because there is still, like even though I feel like I've been able to pick up on a couple really nice throwbacks or little similarities to 2018 there's still so much that I'm missing so please continue to let me know all of those uh, intricacies and any of y'all's ideas and thoughts that you guys had during this gameplay I truly am enjoying the experience so without further ado let's get back into it oh oh I realized that I went off on a ramble. So if anybody wasn't here for the last video, what are you doing? Get back to the last video. Now, uh, we are picking right off with following behind Atreus, who thinks he has an idea for how to help our situation. And he has been looking into Tyr. And so hopefully he's gonna basically take us to what he, I believe he said he's gonna take us to the information that he was gathering um, while he was doing this behind our back. So let's go. Everything about this game seems so elevated. Just, they really did take it to the next level. I also remembered that this is not the first game where I've gotten mesmerized by the foot tracks in the snow. Red Dead 2, I played that at the start of last year, and yes, I've forgotten Red Dead 2, you had that as well. But it's the little things. All right, so let's follow him. I think we're pretty much, where yeah, we I think I finished up in the wild woods. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. Why? Uh, as a reminder, it's been a little bit since I last recorded, so I've got to get acclimated back to the... Did Odin say anything else while you were outside? Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants mm. can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? Mm, good point. I would say that indifference is more terrifying than anything else. Oh. What happened here? So close. Nice. To home. Our raiders warring with one another now. Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. Something else. That is a lot of raiders. There's actually an alarming amount of raiders near them, like near their base camp. Looking like the forest kills. Did they all get in while the state was down? That or oh, Odin cocked up the protection spell altogether. Jeez. What do you see? Archer. Hmm. Just animal tracks. That's a massive arrow. Can we please <laughs> that is a massive arrow? Alright. He sees tracks. Wait a minute. Interesting. Okay. I sense a cutscene. Oh, no, no, no. I feel like anytime Atreus is stuck in a certain position. Oh, I forgot that we can search. Ah! I forgot about how we start with the Blades of Chaos right away. I'll never forget the shivers I had in oh, 2018. Like in 2018 when he grabs them. Oh my gosh. Because they make it so important in that part. Oh, guess 
the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? Mm. I had dreams calling me here. <sighs> dreams. Dreams. Hey, try using your blades to pull this down. Oh, why thank you, son. Why thank you. That one's still alive. No. That's a trap. Ah, hell Raiders now? Who's doing this? Suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. Yeah, probably. Well, I feel like we should put him out of his misery. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so for these, you have to use, yeah, some enemies resist the Leviathan Axe. Be stringing up raiders like that all right hell raider these were in the first one right your standard stag styled raider only dead far more dangerous for it relentless frenzied rageful creatures lighting them on fire should help calm them down i don't know why i smiled while i read the hell out but lighting them on fire should calm them down you see something down there oh sick okay if I recall correctly, there's not a whole lot of exploration. Like there is, but I'm gonna go down. Yeah. I still feel like it's pretty linear for a game. The loot. The loot goblins back at it again. As long as I didn't have to break anything else. Yeah. That's such a far way down for 30 hack silver though. Oh, okay, we came from there. So we continue. Atreus. Alright, he can't break that. Hmm. What the hell, brother? What was that? Something strong and dangerous. Alright. Let's get our parry on. Being all the way on guard. On guard. I walked, I stumbled into 38 hack silver. There had to be something else down there. There's no way that I did all of that work. Oh, I forgot about the vases. <laughs> you guys know there are Just need to find a way around. two things in this world I get most excited about. Taco Bell and loot. <laughs> all right, the temple's that way. Let's actually rotate over here. There's got to be something else. Whatever it is, it works fast. <laughs> Oh, I, d I, <laughs> I didn't realize that I was knocking him down. They're beefy. Nicely done. Actually, I need to make sure that I can build enough XP for Atreus, so I think that it's really important to let him really get into the fight. At least get a couple arrows so he gets some of the XP. Because, actually, let's test something. The next time I can kill somebody without him being present, I wonder if he gains XP no matter what. Or is his XP based on how much he assists in the fight? Hmm. We'll test it out. Uh, I love snowy climates. Love it. Hate being there too long, but it's nice in the short term. I don't know if I could do three years like they've done. All right, nothing over there. I'm trying to remember, th this was where we came through in the first one. I think. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, interesting. That's a long frost exposure. Break him. This isn't the best time to practice. Let Atreus get the kill. He got 8 XP for that? Was that 4 each? Maybe he gets 4 XP for every single person that you kill? When did this bridge collapse? Oh, yeah. a while ago. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the giants and Loki? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty <sighs> keen on seeing he wasn't found, right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against us. 
Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. So mm -hmm. enough. Oh, sorry, I have to help you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh no, I don't. Is he gonna hop down somehow? You know, I don't think I remember that Tyr is like this land's basically god of war. Mm, we know what happened to the last god of war that we encountered. So, oh, nice. I need to try to remember, but Tyr went missing, right? Like, he's not actually gone. Just nobody's seen him for a long, long time, right? I love these little glow-in-the-dark bugs. <laughs> All right. Under. I was gonna say that thing we saw couldn't be far away. All right, let's see if Atreus gets four. I'm gonna let him do most of this. Let's see if he... Oh, shoot. Okay, let me kill this raider. I wanna see... Oh. Alright, let's see how much XP he gets. Oh! <laughs> the thing is, right... If I have the Blades of Chaos, I'm not really good at switching back and forth. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but once I find like the weapon I really, really like, typically I'll only switch back to the Leviathan Axe if I need to like chop down something, which I need to get better about it. That's gonna be my like one objective of this game is to get better at like dual wielding that. Because I will say that when I went back through one through three, I did increase the amount of like, I just, how much I was like cycling between multiple weapons and not just Relying on one of them. All right, we have skill trees. All right, Blades of Chaos. Let's go. So Atreus. So Atreus has watches for moments to follow up Kratos' attacks, extending his combo. Atreus can assist with Kratos' combo, matching hit for hit, while both are targeting the same foe. All right, so we have a long way to go before we can buy something else. Draws enemy aggression when Kratos is under pressure. Under pressure. Mm -hmm. While grabbing an enemy. Occasionally appears above Atreus if pressed. That, I faintly remember that from 2018 or some variation. Grabs enemies for longer and enhances powerful strikes caused by Kratos. Nice. Uh, I believe we do have the capability to upgrade. Yeah. So we have a couple of things, actually. Oh, man. I told you, I just told you guys, I'm probably not gonna do the Leviathan. It doesn't mean that it's not important to use it. And there are some enemies that I think the frost damage or like when you actually are able to inflict frost damage in a longer duration. I know right now it does kind of slow them down a little bit, right? But once we can do some more, I think it's important. Mm, but I'm just a hack and slash kind of gal. Like the Blades of Chaos just makes sense for my play style. Wait. Okay. Deal bonus damage against frosted individuals. What else do we have? Oh, I forgot about only them. After impaling an enemy with Hyperion pole, hold R1 to launch forward. I kind of like that. After impaling an enemy with blazing surge, hold R2 to throw the en to throw the other blade into the target. And then we've got our melee. Oh wait, what are these? While sprinting, press R1 to leap forward. I like that. These are more like generic melee. Unleash a high damage fury of attacks. I like that too. While evading to perform a leap spin attack. I think I want to at least do this. I like the ability to like leap forward and get some more speed. Oh, do I already own that? I already, no, there we go. All right, knock off the rust. All right, so we're doing that. So all we need to do is press R1 to get a little leap forward towards them like. Come here. <laughs> a little lunge. Let's see. Axe melee d attacks against burning enemies deal bonus damage. That's true, because we'll encounter burning enemies as well. So I will, I think I'll be forced to have to go back and forth. Charge up the Leviathan Axe, causing the, oh, okay, the Vengeful Sickle. And then we've got melee. Right now we should have the leap. Yeah, we have the leap slash attack already with this one. Oh, the boomerang. 
boomerang. Wait, I do love the boomerang. Wall evading for a quick boomerang throw. Love, love it. Let's do it. So we need to be pushing back and then press R1 to do a quick boomerang throw. Heck yeah. And then we have 450. I would say let's save up for the next slot when we're level two. Or hold on. Uh, to get to level two, is it kind of like Witcher where you have to put a certain amount already into the skill tree? Or do I hit level two and then those unlock? Hmm. We'll see. I'm still going to save up just a smidge. Atreus doesn't have a whole lot of skill trees yet. This one is... Let's go ahead and purchase this one, though. It's 250, and right now we're dealing with a lot of frost enemies anyway, so that'll be helpful. All right, we are sitting at 199. That's good. It's just gotten... Like I said, like it just feels elevated. Yes, I have to break everything. Okay. Now we may go. Atreus. Boy. Uh, that pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. How did an entire pillar get moved? Could it have been from our fight with... Oh no, because we didn't fight the warrior even near this area. Oh, okay, so we can move it back and forth. Interesting. Like Come. I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the giant. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be... Leave it how yeah. you found it? If he's out there, we gotta find him. Alright, yeah, so he is out how there. Not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? We'll see soon. What do you know? Alright, so we know that we're still looking for him. <laughs> I love how they even have Atreus looking where... You know, just pointing where you should be going. Oh, I was supposed to pull it back either way. <laughs> like I said, leave it how you found it. Leave it better than how you found it. Mm. All right, let me recall. There we go. Nice. Rope freed. Pull the chain to, to tighten the slack. They've always done a really nice, non-intrusive tutorial. I feel like they do it so slight that it doesn't feel like you're in the whole tutorial area. Nice. What do you think? Can't imagine what the lads found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Hmm. Can I go down this way? No. All right, let's do it. Many dead here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, something's happening. Flame whiplash. Mash to charge up the blades with fire and then follow up. Wait. I'm trying. All right. Wait, mash it. Oh. Okay, got it. I'm mashing. I'm mashing. Hmm. Kill him. <sighs> Alright, we've got a ton of raiders. Oh, shit. Oh, this is not good. I need to parry during this. Oh, he went off the cliff. Nice. Alright, heal up. When I got frozen, I think I was... Woo! I think I took a little bit of damage when I got frozen. Alright, she gone. She gone. What am I supposed to do with this? Can I throw a whole tree? You can throw a whole tree. Oh, do you think I can pull her across? Oh, I can't. I can't actually hit her. Damn it, it's so close. Alright, let's see if we can reflect this. Nice. It's so good. If you can parry, which I feel like the parry window in God of War is not nearly as difficult as some Souls games. 
as like the Dark Souls games. I know it seems like I compare that a lot. I know that they're not similar. I know this isn't like soul style combat. It's just that when I think of parries and gr <laughs> gruesome parry timing, I think of Souls games. But I perfected that, and so I think that's why I've just, parries are the one thing that I feel like I'm not, I'm not bad at, okay? You gotta know your strengths when gaming. Especially with the Valkyries. If you can parry a Valkyrie. We also have our Isn't rage meter. Nice how Fimble Winter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet hmm. somehow new terrors only flourish. New terrors flourish. Alright, let's test this out again. So I'm doing heating this up and then finish him on it oh he's turning to a frost oh he's not okay all right hold on atreus one second right here kill winter man yep got it wonder who they mean he can read them he can read small amounts now winter man kill winter man the runes appear to be the work of raiders but i do not know the winter man their attacks have increased as of late perhaps he is the source of their agitation the winter man Jack Frost. Of course. Ah, uh, I. I gotta block it. I gotta block it. I gotta block it. I can't block it. I had my first death because I was frozen. Oh. <laughs> she didn't even have a weapon. She just. <laughs> Falcon punched me right to the Adam's apple. Great balls of fire. All right. <laughs> How far back does it send you? Okay, that's not bad. Hmm. I really have to watch out for that because once you get frozen, is there a way to diminish the effects like faster? Let's see. We have to go through either way. Isn't it nice? Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Wore down all the helpful magic we acquired. Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. All right. Well, I already got the. I guess I already got the stuff, but I want the XP. Hold on. I got the XP, but now I'm just mad, so I need to kill her. This is kind of cool, though. I don't think I remember using this ever. Finisher. Yeah. It was... All my respect was down here, and I had to get it back. In the winter. We climb. On it. For... We climb. Ah, he has gotten rather good at that. Do you see... Yeah, God likes climbing skills as well. Wait, I think I can go over here. Hold on. Do you see the grip on this ice? Good Lord. That's insane. <laughs> I feel like I always talk about how much I like trying to find all the all the loot and stuff. And I already know I'm going to miss so much like that was such a small thing. It'd be so easy to miss this spot. We climb. Hmm. Yet another grizzly scene. What's that noise? Hmm. I'm gonna save that for later. Nista. There was a lot of hesitation there. Whoa! What kind of lunge was that? All right, I gotta use this. I know that wasn't the best use of my rage, but I was frozen and I had two of them on me. And considering I got bopped by one person, I knew having two on my back. I don't know. A lot of times I'll use my rage meter in defense rather than offense. <laughs> like, quick, let me come back alive. And also for everybody that <laughs> is newer to the channel, if there is an item on the ground, even if I'm maxed out, I will be picking it up. 
I have to pick it up. I can't just let it lie there. I've seen my share of bloodshed. Hold on. But this is an awful lot for one morning. Nothing over here? I don't know, it just seems like there's something else in this area. I guess not. I also am... I think I'm constantly looking for those birds. Like that noise that I hear, it makes me think one of the green birds is flying around. <gasps> I should not have used my rage meter. The Huntress? Okay, the shield is broken. All right. Okay, we can't block that. Whoa! What the hell is this? Atreus is about to do most of the work. Shit, I know my shield's busted. Alright. Alright, throw my weapon. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Alright. I need to get closer. Ooh. Ow. There we go. There we go. Hit the walls down! <laughs> Alright, perfect. We got it. I'm gonna need a health pack to drop here soon. Oh god, that does so much damage. Oh sh! Help! 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 Smack that! All right, I can do this. I can do this first try. This is on easy. This is practically easy. Nice. Hit her while she's down. Woo. Oh, I forgot about the backwards kick on a horse. Woo. Oh. Oh. Come on, give me the horns. I just need the horns. Oh, I'm going to need that right now. Please kick that. Why is this such a hard fight? I'm not even on the hardest difficulty. Shit. Nice, there we go. This should be it, this should be it. Or one more after this. Nice, finish her. Woo! Well, it explains why her arrows were massive. Yeah. This is no safe haven anymore. I've got to say, I was not expecting that difficult of a fight. Like, that was not an easy feat. Considering she didn't have any feet. <laughs> Alright, let's go over to... I know that was really bad. Codex, let's read up about her. <laughs> oh my god. Um, stalker. Stalker huntresses are worship... Wor <laughs> worship... Worshipshire. Worshippers of this. Gao, Gao, a legendary giantist, renowned giantess, renowned for her hunting expertise. They're usually a peaceful group, wanting nothing more than to find their next challenge. It appears recent times have made some of them far more aggressive and ruthless. It can't be said if it's completely Fimblewinter's fault. As with much of the pain in these realms, I suspect Odin's tampering with the natural order has something to do with it. I think that's an interesting part of them. Like, no more than to find their next challenge. It makes me think of the Predator. Always trying to find the best. Bonded leather crafting component. Okay. So we got bonded leather crafting component. Light runic attack. Yes! Okay. Give me that runic attack, please. Winter's Bite. Form a mass of ice around the Leviathan Axe and run up to strike a target with an incredible force. I love the runic attack so much. All right, let's see. Mm. Shield. Hmm. 
Broken shield. Broken guardian shield. Love it. All right. The broken guardian shield is unable to block attacks. Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> old faithful. Got to put on my old faithful shield. All right. Spartan rage. I think that's pretty much it. Beast bone. Nice. Winner's bite. You, I should have saw something coming there too. The moment that Atreus wasn't the first one going up the mountain, it should have been the first indication that something bad was going to happen. With the axe hold L1. <laughs> Frozen flame, an impossible material that houses the rage and fire and temper of the ice. All right, so we've got that too. All right, now let's go. Oh, now he wants to go first. Thor damaged it, but now. Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Perhaps. Wait, so I'm using a different shield during my other fights? New lore scroll. The Ashen God. It is the Ashen God's fault. She told us, the witch. Said the Ashen God murdered Baldur, and in so doing started Fimblewinter. I'm the Ashen God. She said if the God dies, Fimblewinter will end. No more night, no more cold, no Ragnarok. We ran out of food a week ago. No matter. Soon we will feast on God flesh. Huh. Okay. That's, that's gotta be false. Like, if we were to actually die, that wouldn't be the end a fimble winter could it be because if that were so right like if that were true why would odin and thor not try to actually kill us hmm suspicious all right let's put these bad boys back on do you hear what i hear okay you remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. How many? I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realized. Hold on, I know he's trying to talk to me. That's for later. All right. There's more to it. Infrastructure is still there. It's got some nice bones. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. There's a lot of collapsed pillars. It's gotta be something massive uh, moving these, no? Things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Okay, they I can. Go. To wear down all things, even stone. Oh, it's Fimble Winter. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I mean, packed snow. Collapse a roof in a heartbeat. All right. Take me, Atreus. He's like, Dad, I'm just trying to show you this, and all you're doing is stopping to break vases and <laughs> gather anything you can. Okay, I need to move the wood first. Okay, well, fine. Oh, we need to use the axe. All right. It's never easy, is it? Right? You always have to do like one extra thing. Did something did over on the right. There we go. Come on. Wait. Wait. Is that something I can come back to later? Hold on. I'm not willing to let that go right. Yeah, we'll open the gate and then we'll be able to go through later on. <laughs> Maggie. C is the wood. It totally rejects. <laughs> rejects the stone. Continues to do it a second time for science. For science. Raw science. I loved these. The woodwork. The carvings. You watching? Well, that's new. I love him just holding my mirror. Come 
Come on. Atreus, wait. Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. <laughs> uh, I guess at some point. I mean, he is a really respectful son. 75% of the time. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These what shrines the tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, <gasps> those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati, the wolf mm -hmm. giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giant setting Skull and Hati free. Mm. free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Oh. Like a giant. See? Oh. The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. It's not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they mm. say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Yeah. <laughs> Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse. I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with We're coming to that. <sighs> Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be oh, around yeah. that Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. <laughs> what if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. Um. No, that would totally make sense if Odin knew exactly where your tear was, because if he's fearful of somebody finding him, you're only fearful of somebody looking if you have something to hide, you know? But real quick, I, because I wanted to respect the cutscene. This is incredible, but I feel like the person that saves the moon, it, to me, it appeared like a Spartan helm. That's what I thought, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What else is he showing me? Oh, we can go back there. I love the footsteps, too. This is like the most magical area I've ever been in. How did he discover that is what I want to know. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. Oh, You've yeah. You've been to Jotunheim again? No, I found it in one of the other shrines. Other oh, shrines? How many have you visited? I, well, all of them? Hmm. All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned, but I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. Huh. They mention black smoke and the bleeding earth, but we could never figure out exactly. We. Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Of course he yeah. has. I talked him into it. It, it wasn't his oh, idea. No. Oh no. I just needed someone to watch my back. Imagine putting your trust in somebody else other than your father. Smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. 
Your minds did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. Could be. That's it then. Tears and Svartal find somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Hmm. Oh. It doesn't mean we're not going to do anything. Just means we're going back home first. Wow. wow. Even if we consider looking for Tia, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know, Svartalfheim. Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. <laughs> it sounded like I was really upset there by saying like, oh, imagine, you know, him putting his trust in somebody else. It's not, it's not like I feel like that's so unheard of, like, at all it's just i think right there it kind of like had a minor you know stab at him just a little bit but i mean it's understandable because i think knowing i think atreus is perceptive enough to know that his father is more of a reactionary person than proactive um so i don't really blame him for going behind his back i'm not saying it was the right thing to do but i mean it enabled us to have the workings of a second game so <laughs> no their relationship is so interesting. I really only have, I guess I only have knowledge about like a father-daughter relationship, not really a father and son. Uh, so to the lore. Yes, Skull and Hati. Wait, did we read? Yes, we did. Skull, Skull, I hope I'm, I'm gonna screw up a lot of these, but Skull and Hati. Of all the stories Mimir told us of the giants, this was among the most difficult to believe. Giant wolves with the power to chase day into night and back again? Yet the secrets Atreus uncovered within their shrine reveal they are alive, and perhaps then, so is Tyr. Hold on, Skull and Hati, is that not... Do you guys remember in 2018, we were inside one of the chambers or something, and you had to make the moon and the sun be opposite of one another, and I faintly remember hearing about Skull and Hati. But I want to say inside that same chamber, they mentioned tier multiple times i mean we obviously heard of tier multiple times in the last game but it was more than just that like we saw i thought we saw a really i can't remember the exactly the the thing on him but i remember there was something important about him in that second like same section i just uh, i wish i could remember the 2018 more okay if you guys haven't figured this out by now i'm oh, What's going on here? I just love making connections to previous games. And sometimes it kills me because I realize that I don't think it's for lack of, there's something over there too. It's not for lack of paying attention. It actually has more to do with, it's just like, I don't know if I brain dump it after I'm done playing it. Plus I'm constantly rotating through a lot of different games, but it is hard to remember the intricacies of games. I can't wait to watch the lore videos on this game after. Alright. We got my thing. Rawhide. Rawhide. The crafting components, by the way. I guess we'll need that later. Yeah. I'm not gonna get- okay. We'll focus on story progression first. Real quick. <laughs> There's got to be something here. That ain't bad. Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you mm. lost control. <sighs> All right, this is the right way. We need you to go back the other way. Carefully, brother. Danger is close. What's up here? You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first nice, time. Nice, nice. It is not my first time. Hmm, forged iron. The weight at which he falls, like when he, ah, uh, just like the impact on the ground. I feel like the ground gets more damaged. All right, I should be able to just jump across. No. Huh. I guess maybe I have to break this first. So in order to break it, hmm, let me go up here first. Maybe I just need to do a run and jump. <laughs> You know, like a quick. What's oh, well, there we go. Ah, 
Thanks for smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. <laughs> you know me, Mamir. You know me. Alright, let's take out these. It's just easier to break the vases with it. Nice. Mamir, what did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. He told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Yeah. Yeah. That's a fair point. I would be suspicious as well, but I also think that if there's anything I've taken away about Atreus's character, is I really think that outside of, you know, raging teen hormones and the fact that you know you're a god, he truly has the kindness that I think his mother possessed. And I know it's crazy to think that Atreus is kind, but I think that Atreus does have really good intentions when it comes to Atreus. And it's obvious that he cares so much for Atreus. And I think Atreus feels that. So I don't think he blames him for being how he is. He just doesn't understand him, which is like any child, right? Like it's when your parents telling you no or, or chastising you for something, it's usually because you don't see the larger picture or you don't know if it stems from something else. But I know, like I just, I'm having to choose to believe that Atreus has only good intentions. But I don't know because his name is Loki too, and I'm gonna throw out the window anything I know about Marvel Loki, but... Oh, yeah, 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 let's do the light runic attack. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, bad. Finish him. I have a low battery, hold on. Oh! Can I block, by the way? I can't. Okay, I still can't block. Woo! Woo! Not today! Uh uh. Woo! You know what? Let's, let's switch it up, switch it up, switch it up. Oh, you know what I want to try? Let's try this. Let's try this. Wait. Should be like this. Whoa. I want to try. I think they've kind of brought back some of the brutality of maybe the original ones. 2018 felt more mild in comparison. Although I guess nothing really tops the brutality of number three. Uh, I was trying to do the thing where, so if I'm moving backwards and I press, oh, because then it's like, mm, oh, you know what it is? I think it's, hold on, how do I toss it? Maybe when I do, okay. I'm trying to do the quick boomerang. Hold on. The skill, the boomerang. The one that I just acquired, where was it? Mm, the back off one. No, this one? While evading, hold back and press R1 for a quick boomerang throw. I thought I did that multiple times. We'll try it on another, like, when I'm one-on-one -on -one with another enemy. Okay. Let's go, boy. We haven't heard a lot of boys. Brother, a word. Mm. Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. Yeah. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. Do you think Mimir has had impacts on his, like, on Kratos as a whole? Because I will say that, like, for what it's worth, <laughs> I think it's why we all love Mimir, right? Like, he's clever, sassy, but at the end of the day, like, he has incredible wisdom. And he has the, I think like you can't question it either because he definitely has the credentials we as well. Find a way to open Rome travel to Sparta farm. I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us. Enough. To... We will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. 
You won't be sorry. Mm, do you think Freya? I'm, I'm sure Freya will follow us. Although, if we're using Sindri to get there, it'll be interesting to see how she manages a way to another realm. Although Odin knows that she's after us anyway, so if we keep searching for her, if we keep searching for Tyr, I'd imagine he'd maybe allow her to, you know, help her and aid in her search for us. Because it is adding one more block to Hello. us. Over here. Sindri. Sindri. Oh, <laughs> sorry, fire pit. As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? Mm -hmm. It's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh... Shut uh, up, yeah. Sindri. <laughs> well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned he needed somewhere. Look at how he runs. Night, and I believe <laughs> your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. Ooh. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't think they could have made a more fantastic duo other than After Sindri you, and Brock. <laughs> All right, you ready? Boy. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the nine realms. Mm. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <laughs> After that <laughs> Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. Hmm. Oh, there it is. All right, real quick, before we enter this, I'm gonna run to the bathroom and I'll be right back. And I'll get the charger for the controller. <laughs> Cat break done. <laughs> Controller charging check. Good to go. And of course, I had to get my caffeine. I know I'm addicted at this point and I need to stop it. I've cut back so much though. Okay. <laughs> For the record, I think I used to have, it was so bad. We're not even gonna talk about this. All right, let's go. To our new home. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimble Winter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. <laughs> I would say I am into it. To talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. This is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, does it have a chicken coop though? <laughs> no, seriously, this is incredible. Look at this, what is that? <laughs> okay, hold on. How is this somewhere where, like, how is Odin not? I thought Odin was like all powerful. How is he not able to see this? Look at the little home. There's a backyard. All right, sorry. Come in. Come in. Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then. <laughs> the are there. The kitchen is just over there. Any anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparrow Farm so we can try and rescue Tear. To Tear? Oh, alive? I mean that's oh, what? It it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? The music. Please, my son disobey me. No, I I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? <laughs> well, to be frank, there was... Something we needed your help with. <laughs> oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? <laughs> the hell is he anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? Oh yeah, he was Too so small before. Now. It looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Did you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey, I suppose what's done is done. 
But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. <laughs> All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallop. Who do you like better, Brock or Sindri? Go. Mmm. Busted up good. Mmm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? No. It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? Yes, please. I need to be able to parry. Oh, all right. That is too cute. I also love how some scenes when you need to see Mimir, you see like half a Kratos to bring him into the shot because he's on his backside all the time. I just want to like wrap Mimir in some flannel underneath though. You know, like I always want to know. It's still like an open wound on his like below his neck. Can we not close that up or something? I don't know. It just doesn't hurt him if he gets set down on like sticks or rocks. I don't know. These are the questions I have in these kind of games. All right. So welcome to the Holda, Holda, Holdra Brothers shop. I also think it's so funny because, yeah, Sindri is a, he is like OCD about it being clean, right? He's like a germaphobe. I think that's what it is. Craft and upgrade armor. All right. Shields available. Brock has enough materials to forge a new shield. Navigate to the shields menu. There we go. I only got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You oh. bring me more resources, oh. we'll see what we can do. You know when you've had like a circular shield for so long, it feels weird to have any of the others. Hmm. All right, a shield fit for the high risk and high reward parries. We do like that. That ain't bad. A shield fit for absorbing attacks and striking back. Nah, we're going dauntless. You guys know. I love a good little smack back. The dauntless. <laughs> That's so cool. The stone wall shield. I guess you can craft the other one later. And then to the armor. And we need to fix up Atreus, I believe. Brock will craft some new armor to fit Atreus. <laughs> companion armor. I love how it says companion instead of Atreus. That's kind of interesting. If the kid's okay. gonna insist on getting taller, best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. He only has one option? I don't know. I'm not, I like the more like rugged armor style. I'm not like a big fan of the full, full plate. But whatever, free armor is free armor. All right, so we want to go ahead and equip that for Atreus. Level one armor. Armor crafted with care by the legendary Holdra brothers. Said to be one of their finest works. And then let's see what we got for me. All right, so um, I did put on the new chest armor, right? Vidar? Vidir? Vidar? Hmm. This matches what I have going on. I don't know, green just doesn't feel like a tra or Kratos' color. I feel like he's best with reds and blues. Blue with his... Ash. Green just pops too much. This one is up. Strength fine. Mm. Let's do this one. I have wraps of survival, by the way. <laughs> My wraps song. I don't even have arm guards, just wraps. Bracers of might. I like this one, the fortified husk. He's husky. All right, we'll put that on and then let's go ahead and look at waist armor. So the fortified husk girdle, the girdle. And the belt of might, I don't know. Oh, I do kind of like the details in that one. This one almost gives me like Siri belt vibes minus the jewels. But like the square, anytime I see the squares now, it makes me think of series belt. Huh. Hmm. Which one do you think is easier when you have to use the bathroom? I'm like, which one's easier to undo? I'm like looking at the stitching and everything. <laughs> Although I guess, wait, never mind. You probably don't have to take that off when you have to go. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I like this one. I like a nice uniformed look. Nobody. Me. I wonder what's easiest for him to use the bathroom. Okay. We're good to go. Oh, wait, what? 
items what we love. Do me? I'm gonna go look around. Shops have a room. chest filled with lost Pass items. When you're ready. I lost items? I didn't even remember losing items. <laughs> Rock. I knew we'd left something behind. Forged iron and a hundred hack silver? How did I forget that? Alright, I do want to talk with him real quick, but let's go to our codex. <laughs> did we already look at Sindri's? Oh, we haven't gotten Sindri's yet. Just Brock's. The Dorvan blacksmith Brock one is, was the first ally we encountered when we set out for the mountain's peak. He and his brother Sindri made the Leviathan axe for Fae, and this has been our common bond. Brock is blunt with a foul tongue, but there is wisdom in his bluster. I find him acceptable company. <laughs> I love getting Kratos' insight, and it just sounds like, it sounds very much like how he would be towards them. Hmm. Did we get any new foes? No. Okay. All right, let's, whoa, what's my stance right now? I'm having a really power stance going on. All right, let's have dialogue with him. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. Oh. Mm. I didn't realize that was going to be a Mimir dialogue. I'm trying to see. I'm pretty sure it's an open wound on his neck. Yeah, you can literally see it. Okay, let's explore everything because you guys know that I love a good HGTV video game style. We've got lots of scrolls, potions, pots. Wait, Look at the stairs. Those stairs will not support you. Please don't break my house. <laughs> those are such small stairs. There's no handrail, nothing. That's so cool. See, I knew you wanted a snack. <laughs> I feel like all of those are individual voice lines as well. Like they're not even repeating them. I feel like they all sound slightly different. All right, one second, Atreus. Oh, this is such a nice bed. Wow, it's a fancy basket. I like the frying pans. It honestly just makes me think of a hobbit hole, and I love it. I the, guess all this the is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. <laughs> Something tells me they have a very mm, specific and picky palate. At least Sindri. Brock will probably eat anything. Brock Finding strikes me as a beef right, jerky kind of guy. Yes, but before we do the quest, can I leave? I just want to go outside and look at the back. What is this? Oh, maybe the bathroom. It's open for interpretation. Okay, let's start the next quest. I think we're good to go. I upgraded my armor. Promise. He upgraded his armor. I upgraded mine. I think other than that, let me see. Oh, we actually have a lot of XP. Let's go to skills real quick. Let's go to... Atreus doesn't have enough yet. No, he does. Atreus draws enemy aggression when Kratos is under pressure. Oh, okay. I kind of like that. Or should we save up? Grabs enemies for longer and enhances powerful strikes caused by Kratos against. Could go for saving up. I have a feeling we'll, f we'll fill out all of these in due time. So I'm going to hold off. Let's go back up here, though. There is one that I wanted, right? Oh, did we have this before? After impaling an enemy? Yes. Yeah. Cause the stun. We do like that. All right, let's do this one. I love a good stun. There we go. Boy. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me and be mm. sure to bring the head. I don't so, think the head really leaves where my... exactly is Tyr being held? He is imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh. Ooh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours. Sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. <laughs> should have access to all kinds of information on mines. Mm. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? Oh. A rebellion? Did you know about that? What? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the t 
Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet okay. you at the gateway outside. Rebel All right. leader, Durlin? Durlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, <laughs> you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Durlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, bro? Hmm. Will you help us or not? No, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned. <laughs> He's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Oh, he Sounds talk like funny. You study in contrast. <laughs> oh, he talks funny. Okay, so this is interesting. So his mother tried to start a rebellion at one point as well. And so she went to him and we're finally getting to meet other dwarves. Um, there was something else I was going to say to that. Mm. Oh, man, I'll think of it in a second. I've always wanted to see your home room. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. Svartalheim? We look like dark elves to you. Oh, oh, right. You call the realm something else. Nidavellir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Nidavellir? Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. Hmm. Well, actually, now I remember what I was going to say. He said that not somebody who likes Odin. I mean, and even right there, he was saying that, you know, a bunch of them are Odin efforts. Is it because they genuinely like Odin or is it out of fear? You know, because everything we know of Odin, I just feel like cruel, like his cruelty knows no bounds. So I don't think it's, you know, respect out of admiration. I feel like it's forced respect, you know, it's like demanded respect but i don't know maybe some people agree with him you hear that wait let's go over here maybe we can interact with this mushroom <laughs> no <laughs> do i hear what are those some kind of dragons they're so far i can't tell how big they are I don't know. There's all sorts of cool critters here. Can we go through the back? No. <laughs> all right, let's go see Dorlin, was it? Dorvlin? Come along, Atreus. We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance then. Yeah. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. <laughs> so uh, do I control this thing somehow then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light uh, oh. in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodging bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh my oh, god. That's it. That's it. Good. Now, release. That's Still pretty cool. Oh, that's our cue. Come on. Hurry. I'm coming. I'm coming. Are his eyes okay? Russell of eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just to adjust. <gasps> there. That should do it. No way. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Get <laughs> off! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> you take a joke, you old goat! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's give Mimir back first before we travel. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mimir. We should ask them about the dragons if we could. The Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel oh. table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. Just the seed? 
I also used it for light. Okay, good note. <gasps> I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. That was the best voice line. I also used it for light. That's okay. cool. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right. Then concentrate. Unlock to access. This is so cool. Alright, so concentrate on where we actually want to go. Confirm. That is the kind of fast travel I was looking this for. This take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir city. Just make your way to the mm. town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are mm. moist. And the grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! <laughs> Thanks. Uh, good luck. Wait, what? I said good luck. Mm. Oh. All right, let's go see him. The quest for tear. Oh, do you feel that? What's that like? What is anything? Everything. It's not. Storm. Yeah. It's not all covered in snow for once. Look at this. This is. Do you hear the music too? I forget, did they win best score as well? I can't remember. Wait, do you hear what I hear? Oh yes, baby. We still get to kill them. The eyes of Odin. Nice. That was one of my favorite parts about 2018. There's a 48. Oh, we also need to read up on, okay, Odin's ravens. Odin has his eyes on us since we began our journey some time ago. Killing these ravens and blinding the Allfather will only aid us in our path. And then let's also go look at lore for Sindri. I want to see if he says anything about him helping Atreus. On our journey to Jotunheim, Sindri proved himself a capable blacksmith and a valuable ally. Now he has been trying to help Atreus in his search for Tyr. I am unhappy this was done without my knowledge. Though it is better Atreus was not alone on this path. I will attempt to spare the dwarf my wrath. It may not be easy. <laughs> I love the way that they have him right, and it's kind of cool. So now he can read some of the runes before. Where before he couldn't. Look at this water. Careful, lad. You got that? Oh. Oh. A wretch. Wretches indeed. There's one more. Oh my. They're so quick. Anista, Anista, oh! There's so many! <laughs> At least he can... Nice. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! This feels like something out of Harry Potter. <laughs> like the pixies or whatever. Woo! Nice. I see what already off to a lively stop. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free though. Hmm. We can head through these channels when you're ready. <laughs> What's up here? I love the color of the water. It kind of reminds me. <laughs> reminds me of like, you know when you go, oh, wait, look at that frog. That's a big frog. Look at him. I wonder if you can kill him. It reminds <laughs> It reminds me of if you've ever gone putt putt golfing or like mini golf, anytime there's water, I feel like they always die at that super like clear blue, but it just looks disgusting. Just break everything. <laughs> What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply fairy. That's so said fairy appears to be missing. Huh? Said fairy. <sighs> Rip the frog. Okay, I think let's go ahead and grab the boat and go. 
This is so happy compared to, I feel like, a lot of the realms. Well, there were some fun, there were some really beautiful realms we went to. And even in the mm, darkness of some of them, they still, still had their charm to them. Let a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What That's your fair. mother did before we met was her business. Did the wetlands. Eyes on the water. There are resources. Oh, there are. I miss all of this. I, even though it was only a couple of months ago since I played it. It just feels you asked mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say woman, guard the house. <laughs> we'll go to catch fish in the river. That's actually you such a good question. No. Go this way. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Give me the loot. That's uh, he brings up a really good point. What did they talk about? I want to know. Look at how big the little lizard's eyes are. I know that you can kill everything by now, so I'm not doing it. The detail that they even put into the inhabitants of areas. Even the smallest of creatures have so much detail. <sighs> Atreus. All right, let's go to the other side real quick. Uh, I've missed the tails on the boats. It feels smoother though. I feel like it's much easier. Oh, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Back it up. It's so much easier to turn this thing. It's so much easier. All right. That's some good money right there, okay? Hmm. Wait, was there something in the water? Uh, did you see that over there? Wait, 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 wait. Feels kind of sad that we don't have the world serpent though, you know? I miss him. I can't surface any of these areas. Nice. That wheel is blocking the channel. It also feels I imagine like... Imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. It also feels like nobody's here. I think there should be more people, so right? Wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. A bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. Yeah. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Can I freeze it? Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Do you see the rainbow it made? Wait, look at that detail. Look at this. Oh, I did it on that side when I jumped over at the same time. Huh. All right, before we do that. <gasps> I've missed all of this stuff. I just miss playing God of War games. I just period. I know I don't care if it's only been like six months. I just missed it. All right, I see all three of them. Let's see if I still have the aim that I used to. Not bad. Oh, seals. Wait, one out of the oh, it actually killed that seal. All right, that's two. Where's the third one? Third one. Third one. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. I feel like it's got to be somewhere much further, or maybe we need to get a pie. Do I need the high ground to see it? It's not a timed one, that's right. Hmm. If it's not a timed one, I'm thinking if we can get up there, we can probably see the seal. Oh, it's right here. Nice. <gasps> Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Brave Mars Brasser. Father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock Things left behind. interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Oh. Things left behind. Lore. Mmm. Rune reeds? What did it fall under? Resources? Was it... It wasn't in our... Was it in lessons? 
No, that would do not. We saw that, right? It's not in the... Oh, was it a resource? Was it not? Hmm. Rune reads. No. Going to the Buster? Stalker? No. Alright. I think it was, in fact, a resource, because it was when I picked up that item, so hold on. Now I'm like, I will find this. But I thought it popped up in the lore, did it not? But I guess not. Hmm. Resources? Currency? We saw those. Was it a unique resource? No. Wait, do we have one? Oh, we have a frozen flame. I didn't even see that when we picked it up beating the Huntress. Yeah, we do have a frozen flame. Hmm. I want to hit them right when it pops up and then it tells you to go to your like book to read it, but I don't want to interrupt Mimir while he's talking, you know? Okay, they look so much cooler in this game. Collected enough mm, apples is good. Maximum health increased. That actually looked like an incredible apple, like something I'd actually want to eat, unlike the first one. I think that's dirty enough to climb? Aye, mm. good old dwarven craftsmanship. I'd say so. The apples. Oh, what were the other items that we pick up? It was apples and then something else. Here was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and mom ever met. If he was a part oh. of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. Yeah. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Hmm. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there. There's got to be a way to get... Uh, hold on. There's got to be a way to get right there as well. Uh, hold on. Let me try going back down real quick. I wonder if I just need to, like, shimmy on over, you know? Like, no, there's no way it's going to let you do that. We've got to get to it later. Atreus starts climbing down. <laughs> Don't dip <laughs> All right, let's go. I guess he uses his bow. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. These are some beefy boys. Yeah. All right, let's go axe. Let's go axe, go axe, go axe. That did good damage. <laughs> A grim? That did some massive damage. To the lore, to the, to the bestiary. Uh, where was it? Monster. Grim. The Grim occupy the voluminous, voluminous, voluminous. Why can I not talk right now? Middle birth in the life cycle of hostile gas monsters. The teenagers of the species. Wait, what? The teenagers of the species. For lack of a better word, violent, gassy teenagers. Among the most mobile denizens of the Nine Realms, the Grim can climb almost any surface and burrow into the ground, discover, wait, uh, have, we never saw these before, right? No, but we remember there used to be a creature that would burrow into the ground uh, of disconcerting speeds, making them all too easy to lose sight of. Fortunately, they haven't yet developed the ability to fly. Nice. Oh, let's test out this new. Uh, hold on. I want to test out the new. Oh, where do you? OK, hold on. Let's test out this new thing. Nice. Let's take his take his liver and go. <laughs> Tap L1 at the last second to parry an attack and apply a stun. Okay. I think there's some the combat is just so much smoother. Back up. I never get used to the... I never get used to the KOs. Finish him. We've got a couple more. 
All right, they can stay there though. I'm looting, hold on. I'm looting, I'm looting. Where is it? Ah, oh, they went up there. Atreus, no! Wait, what? Oh! Oh, I don't have my, uh, I do have it. There we go. I was trying to use the finish it. All right, pop that. Where did the second one go? Did I already kill it and not realize? I guess I did. Okay, so in this realm, it appears like some of the creatures are more susceptible to this. The Leviathan. There had to have been, oh, do you see what I see? First break these. And then okay. climb up here. There's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Mm. Oh, there. Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Is that an earthquake? <laughs> hmm. An occasional but uh. not unheard of happenstance in Svartalfheim. Hmm. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Change around a little bit. Think you can reach the wheel from here? All right, so we broke that down so we can get back faster. Before we change the wheel, let's actually run back here then. I always do this. I th <laughs> There's two routes, right? You have the route that you gather more loot and then you have the route you're supposed to go. I can look at both routes and then I always end up choosing the route that gets me back to being on track instead of going after the loot, if you know what I mean. Does that make sense? Just give me two options, and I will always choose the wrong option. Or the right option. Just less loot. Forged iron and 153 hack silver. We're rich. So how do I get back down to... Hmm. How do we get back down? Underneath here. Remember, there's loot right there. Like, I think there's a way to hop over there. I guess we might get to it later. Look! Oh, there it is. The rainbow. Boy. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Yeah, there's definitely more. There's a way for me to get up higher. There's gotta be. Yeah. See, if I try to hit an enemy from this distance with my Blades of Chaos, I don't think it'd actually reach. But of course when it's an objective. Perfect. Oh wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but mm. maybe it's just different in Spartalfarm? I lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike yes. all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more uh. gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Was there not loot over there? I don't know, it just looked like you'd be able to climb right there, but I guess it's not a structure you actually need to get to. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> hmm. But then how did Fimble Winter... I keep wanting to say Fumble Winter. Fumble Winter. How did it impact this realm? Maybe it's just... Different creatures, possibly? Oh, yeah, there are fish. There are little fish. I thought I saw that before. Is there any way for us to stop right here? No. Alright, we have to go through. It's kind of fun. Fit under that bridge? Barely. <laughs> Just barely. All right, let's go up shore right here. The boat goes up so much further. 
Alright, let me do... Oh, crap, hold on. Let me break this real quick. And then let me get back to this. Do it. Strike me. Doesn't it feel so good when you're about to take damage, but instead you trigger the R3? Ow, never mind. Like, right in time. Let Atreus finish that one. Oh, I didn't. Oh. Right side, incoming. Come on. Atreus, you had one job. Finish him off. See, Atreus gets such little XP for that. But I guess maybe because he has way. Oh! No, he's so close. I think it's because he has so many less skills to acquire, so it makes sense at the same time. I like this realm a lot. It's visually pleasing to say the least. Oh, there we go. Come along, boy. Oh, my man. I didn't actually see their faces before. It's a lot of teeth. All um, teeth, no brain. All right, max their health out. I say I start using my Spartan Rage more. Except I could have used it when we did the fight with the hunters, and I told y'all. I knew it, I told y'all. I always waste it right before a boss fight. Is it what I think it is? Oh. What? Ah, uh, just to be able to climb higher. What? Uh, was that? Oh, is that how we were supposed to get to the other area? I think I missed something before. Okay, we have not fought that before. That's a new one. Look at the mountains. Oh, they're more like Monroe's, but. Hmm. Okay. Those are some mountains. It's like the Rockies versus the Shenandoah. <laughs> Holy cow. It's incredible. Like the world building that they do. Hmm. I love that it feels like day, but you can still see the stars. And the music here, it's such a subtle score. Nice. Find anything good up there? How do you get down? How did he get down there before me? Yes, I did a trace. Hmm. I can already tell y'all this is going to be a long playthrough. Because I really do want to take my time, and I'm not just going, like, straight after story. Like, I want to- Ah! Back it up, back it up. Oh, these are really important. I really want to make this first playthrough count, and just ingest as much as I possibly can the first playthrough. A drink from the gods. I forgot what that exactly does. Hold on, let me go to resources. Does it pop up in resources? Yeah, the dew- the dew of runic. A drink from the dew of the world tree brings lasting benefits. Runic permanently increased by two. That's right, that's right. This is separate from what we went up before. What do we got? All right, we got more. These little guys are way more annoying. Nice. Nice, one more. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly say that the Leviathan does more damage. I think that's not too shabby at all. What is that? It's kind of like steampunky. 
All right, let me jump up here first, and then we'll look at that orb. Whoa. Nice. Oh, he didn't even stand a chance. Finish him. Those things are everywhere. I am really happy that they... I guess I can look at it from over here, too. I love how unique they've made the creatures in every single realm that you go to. That's a lot of times my complaint with some games where you travel between worlds is when they use very similar um, enemies throughout them all. I think that was one thing that that's why I tried so hard to love Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds, yeah. I, I played it right after I played Fallout New Vegas, which was probably not the right thing to do in the first place, but I ended up not being able to finish it because I felt like there was such a lack of variety, even I though you were traveling it. all around. Whoa. Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Hmm. To make it go up higher. Okay. So if we need it to produce more than what it's currently doing. Oh, the larger one, right? What was that noise? Did it close? No. Yes. Okay. Wheels moving and the gate's coming down. There we go. Back to the boat. To the boat. What if you didn't have if something that could just freeze the water though? Like Brock and Sindri. It's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often, people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Mm-hmm. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they there just you need go. a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, <laughs> especially where gods are concerned. Can I not get off over here? <laughs> but I see loot. I think that Atreus has a very like childlike wonder and interest in gods. I think even though he's met some that he knows are cruel, I think he still is confusing gods with superheroes. Hmm. There's so much stuff over there, but nowhere for us to Am I missing a spot that we can beach? Maybe over here. Mm-hmm. No. It's pretty obvious when you can go ashore somewhere, but that would mean that we're gonna walk pretty far back. If I'm missing it, at least. It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit here as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm. Maybe we'll go back that way. Like maybe we're not taking the boat back. Yeah, look right there. I think on the way back, we'll walk on the sides. Looks like we got to find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nida Hmm. Unless. Here we go. More of them. Let's see. Let's do. I thought it was gonna hit it. It's too fast. Then how should we catch huh. it? Huh? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Attack from behind. Where'd it go? Huh. All right. While you're working on that, let's just go. Well, oh. Did he surface again? I think he surfaced, right? Oh yeah. There you go. You did it. Let's see what it draw. An armor? Hold on. A mysterious creature. Mimir tells me it was born from an ember that escaped Sorter's Sorter's hammer, and he worked his forge. The steward of Muspelheim used his bellows to breathe life into the ember, and its first act of existence was to steal and consume the precious metals the smith had been using to forge a weapon. Mimir tried to tell me that Suter found this amusing. Where I, I would not be amused. <laughs> Were I Suter, I would not be amused. 
<laughs> of course not. Of course not. Nice. Slag it. Why does that give me flashbacks of Borderlands? Is that a is that something that you fight in Borderlands? A slag? It's gotta Got it. be. Up there. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I love the music in this game. It's got such like this Celtic tone to it. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Mm. Do you see what I see? All right, so we need to get up there. There's nothing for me to do. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. Nice. Jump across. Do you think I can run all the way back to where we? Whoa. Brother, that grim's found a perch on high. Oh yeah, that's the first time we've seen that one. <laughs> Y'all, he didn't stand a chance. Yeah, these are different kinds. We haven't seen them puke at us before. That makes so much sense too, because they're more like a frog where they have the... It makes more sense why they'd have the ability to croak at you. Okay. I... Mmm... It's just so that we can you do this. Cover that geyser from here? Yeah. All right, so we need to freeze up this one. Oh no, but we need to drop that one first. Okay. So we freed it up. So let me pop over here. The bellows. No, there's no way. How am I supposed to get up? Okay, let's get across first. Oh. Yeah. If you freeze the yeah. Gas, the pressure will turn the wheel. Nice. And then I have like one second to hit this. Nice one. That ain't bad. All right, we should be able to jump up on it now. Nice. Anything from that block? Do I have to free it up now so I go up higher? Ooh. Yes. That's one of Cavassio's poems. Okay, wait. Eyebrow. You should collect any others you find. The artifact sets. That's what I've been finding. That was what I missed before. Remember when I was driving myself crazy? The Sunrise of Nothingness. A story of relentless genius from the mind of Cavazar. Imagine, dear reader, if you so dare, creatures of metal that screech through the air that swim through the seas that bound across the land, but are brought to their knees by a warrior's hand. Her origins hidden, her hair red as blood, finding places forbidden, buried under the mud. But who is this young girl who is more than a sea myth, who will rescue her people and slay these behemoths? Wait, that's actually really good. It's actually really cool. I like the poems. And then things left behind. Right, this is what it was. Mm, I'm going to screw that up. Um, Hridmar is known for two things. Firstly, he was one of the great armorers of this area. Secondly, his sons are all dragons. That's right. He fathered the dragons you now know as Regen, Fafnir, and wow, he, Fafnir, and Odor. Wasn't a terrible father, terribly good father by any measure, unless you directly rate one's paternal ability to the amount of fire their sons can breathe anyway. But damn if he couldn't make a good set of plate armor. Plate mail. Odin wanted his design, wanted him to design the Enher, mm, Enher jars armor. He obliged. By obliged, of course, I mean built a fatal flaw into the armor that would cause the breastplates to snap like stale bread from the slightest blow. About a dozen, wait, wait about a dozen of them died before the Allfather realized what had happened. They caught Hridmar, 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 trying to escape through a realm gate. You can imagine what happened next. No, I can't imagine because with Odin, who knows what he does to be? I mean, Odin's cruelty knows absolutely no bounds. I cannot even begin to imagine. Forged iron. All right, here we go. Next side. How many of these passages do we have to get to before we get to the city? 
lad, if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, mm. like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. I mean, depending All on if he can talk or not. can be as charmingly voluble as myself. <laughs> we have no proof Tia is truly here. Right. I this I doubt it. There's no way the first place we go to is where he actually is. This is so peaceful. Like I. I Honestly, can't recall too many games that I just feel at peace while playing and occasionally like smashing brains in. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Thumble Winter, maybe the earthquakes oh. are too. Hi. You might be on. Oh, to that's a good point. It could just be like the normal occurrences are um happening more frequently or at a greater volume it just reminded me of the pirates of caribbean ride at disneyland Trish. if you know you know <laughs> just like going through the cave wow now this looks like a city welcome <gasps> to neither for the young brothers wow oh sorry <laughs> this is so cool hey towards Okay, oh. they're all running. Yeah. They're uh, running away. Hmm. I wonder if we're even welcome to come to this realm. I mean, no I imagine alarm. they wouldn't have sent us. Sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why hold that for us, though? They are scared. Look at all of the detail they put into this city. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is oh yeah. Hiding? Stay alert. I don't think it has anything to do with us. <laughs> this is so beautiful. <laughs> Kratos is like, damn it, Maggie. <laughs> All right. And with that, welcome to a new region. All right, guys, we're going to call it there just because it's already been two hours. Don't look at me like that. It's already been two hours. And I know these videos are going to be long. And I'm telling you right now, I fully understand with the rate at which I move. It's it's going to be a while. We'll be on this game for quite some time. But I want to make sure I'm doing it justice. I really do. So with that, we're going to pause right here. And this will be the whole third episode is dealing um, in this in this realm and this village and everything so with that guys thank you so much for being here i know that some of these segments are going to be a lot more i think this was how last of us was as well obviously not every single episode is going to showcase a ton of um story or at least cutscenes. obviously it's all story progression but today we did a lot more fighting we discovered a new realm so we also now can fast travel again i say fast travel but we can travel between realms once again and it was really awesome getting to discover what Atreus was hiding. I'm actually really, um, I don't know if pleased is the right word, but I like seeing how quickly Kratos hasn't held it against him. I also think it's really cool having the journal side by side while you're playing the game because it does show you the things that he's not vocalizing and some of the things that you can see has upset him, but he's not you know, feeling like it's that important to tell Atreus. Obviously, Atreus feels his disappointment in the moment. I think all of us can feel when Atreus is mad without even speaking a single word, which speaks volumes to his character. Um, he's a little stoic, okay? He's, <laughs> he's kind of a quiet one, but in a really good way because I always find the people that I'm... I just blab anything and everything that I'm thinking. I mean, even this, I try really hard to kind of tone down how much, especially during cutscenes, I really want to be more mindful of that. But <laughs> I'm the type of person that whatever I say and comes to my mind, I just speak out loud. But I always like the type of individuals that are more meticulous and let their thoughts like fully gather and I guess form before they just start talking. And so I think that's what makes Kratos such an incredible character is when he speaks, you listen. 
because it's not often. So there's a lot of value to that. But uh, with that, guys, I'm looking forward to getting to dive deeper into this realm. We're going to meet our third official dwarf. Obviously, we're going to meet a lot more considering this whole area um, is one of their homes. But it's going to be cool to get to meet some more dwarves because like we told Sindri, Sindri and Brock are the only two that we ever got to meet prior to it. So this new realm is really beautiful. It just shows that I know it's going to continue to go up from here. I think that the story feels very balanced right now as well. I can already tell, I think to me, it seems like there's more cutscenes than in 2018. And I love that because I think that the way that they do it, it feels like a film. And just the transitions between gameplay to cutscene are so smooth. I, I just, I don't know where the future of gaming is going to go. I, you know, and don't say, I know people always say like the, uh, what is the, oculus and all of that stuff i'm not ready for that but i am ready to just continue to see what surprises we have as games develop and the graphics get better the transitions get better everything because this feels like the peak for me i don't know what's ever gonna top this let me know if you guys feel like there's any game that feels quite as smooth um as this game is but guys thank you so much for being here and i look forward to seeing y'all in the next video have a great it's Tuesday over here, but you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and thank you for taking the time to be here. So I hope I see y'all in the next video. Bye YouTube.